be entering a waypoint and I'll be showing you how to find airport elevation, runway information, and frequencies. The airport we're going to enter is right here. It's Kilo Golf Yankee India. So I'm going to come down. So this is the default. So if I hold down the clear, it takes me to the default nav page. So from there, I'm going to hit flight plan. I'm going to bring up my flight plan page. I'm going to press in. It's going to give me my cursor. I'm going to take the little knob. I'll turn the little knob to the right. It's going to allow me to program the waypoint in. So I'm going to program Golf Yankee India. All right, North Texas Regional. I'm going to press Enter. So if I want to go direct to that waypoint, I highlight it. I press Direct To. I press Enter. And then it's asking me if I want to activate. I press Enter again. So if I go to my flight plan now, it's showing I'm going direct to that waypoint. So I'll go back to Nav 1 page, which is the same place I would get if I held down the Clear button. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to find airport elevation. So I'm going to take the big knob. We're in the nav chapter right now. I'm going to take the big knob. I'm going to turn it one click to the right. It's going to put me in waypoint chapter. The first page of the waypoint chapter is airport information about North Texas Regional Airport. The field elevation is 750 feet. So the next thing I'm going to look at is waypoint two. Little knob, one click to the right. This is going to bring up runway information for the same airport. So here I've got 1331. 2200 hard surface. I can see there's another runway, so I want to look at it. I'm going to press in on the cursor. It brings my cursor up. I'm going to take the big knob. I'm going to go down and highlight the runways. I'm going to take the little knob. I'm going to select the other runway. I'm going to press enter. That's going to show me the information for the other runway. So now I'm going to show you how to get the frequencies. So the frequencies, one more click with the little knob to the right, it takes me to waypoint three. Now all I need to do is bring up the cursor by pressing in on the knob. Big knob down. And I'm going to put tower in the top here. So all I do is highlight it, press enter. That puts it in the standby, then I can cycle it to the top. So these are all the frequencies I could enter the other ones by doing it the same way. So some other ways we can get to the frequencies. If we're in the flight plan, you can hit cursor, highlight the airport, press enter. That's just a quick way to bring you to the waypoint chapter. You have to get rid of your cursor here. Cursor. And then you can scroll around the waypoint chapter the same way we just did it. You can also do the same thing from... So I'm going to hold down the clear. That's going to take me back to my home. I'm going to go to nav2, which is our map page. I can also scroll around on the map page to the airport. And I can highlight the airport and get it to take me to the waypoint chapter as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scroll up until I get to North Texas Regional. Move in. And actually select the airport. If I press enter on the airport, it takes me directly to the waypoint. I can get rid of the cursor again, and then I can scroll and look at all the information for that. That one doesn't have to be in your flight plan. You can do that with, you can do the two map tricks with any, uh, any airport you click on in the map chapter. All right, so there's North Texas Regional. I'm going to put the cursor right over top of it. I'm going to zoom in. As I zoom in, it's going to zoom around the cursor. I'm going to keep ranging in. So now I can see the airspace is highlighted. So if it wasn't highlighted, I would move the cursor until it became highlighted. Once it does that, I can press Enter. That lets me review the airspace. So this is the airspace information, but I can also go down here Highlight frequencies, hit enter, and it takes me to the waypoint three where the frequencies are at. So from that same map page, I can also highlight the airport, zoom in, and actually select the airport. If I press enter on the airport, it takes me directly to the waypoint. I can get rid of the cursor again, and then I can scroll and look at all the information for that. That one doesn't have to be in your flight plan. You can do that with, you can do the two map tricks with any uh, any airport you click on in the map chapter.